So a member at the space sent me this interesting image and she's having some trouble cutting it out on the laser and what's happening is she's getting multiple cuts where she's expecting only one and this center part, the center, this second from the center ring is actually supposed to stay in instead of falling out. So she'd really like to cut out these petals, these, but not this ring and this inside part she does want to cut out. So let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, to get it to cut properly. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything and I'm going to ungroup it. And I basically mash ungroup a bunch of times whenever I'm dealing with a new new shape that I'm trying to debug. Because often what happens is that things get grouped and then it's very hard to tell what's going on. So as you can see we've got a bunch of little dashed lines which means we actually have a bunch of different objects here. So what I'm going to do is let's see if we can figure out I'll grab one of these and it looks like the white space is actually counting as an object too. So if you're cutting the white space and the dark space you're going to end up with multiple cuts. But I suspect this might only be one part of the issue. So let's go through. Unfortunately there's not a great way to just delete all of these because clicking and dragging is going to select a bunch of other stuff. So we'll do this kind of the tedious way. Oh, that's interesting. So this is another shape that I somehow selected that looked like it was only half of the shape. Uh, let's see if we can grab that. Okay. So I see one this border. tricky part is finding everything. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab everything by clicking and dragging. I'm going to go to object, fill in stroke, and I'm going to give everything a fill. Except I want it to actually have a fill. And I want them to be opaque so that I can see through them a little bit. Okay, so a lot of interesting stuff. So this, I'm not sure what it is, so I'm going to try deleting it. And that cleared things up a little bit, so I think that was a good choice. It looks like this outer area is also getting duplicated, so I'm going to get rid of that. And maybe there are a couple down here. Yep. Now the tricky part is selecting it. There we go. If that doesn't work, you can always lower whatever you accidentally selected to the bottom, which will make it easier for you to select the thing that was on top. Okay, so this is looking a little bit cleaner and I imagine we do want to cut this inner circle so we're probably going to leave that as is. It looks a little large though because you'll notice that it's not going to the border of that so I'm going to try deleting it. That looks more right. We got another one. Okay. It's interesting that those are not showing up as darker areas so that means that they're not actually overlapped. So if I grab one I can pull out a couple of separate rings. So I'm not actually sure which one she would like to keep, so I'm going to, uh, for now, I'm going to delete all of those. But when she watches this, she'll know not to delete all of those and only to delete the ones that she wants. So at the moment, it's better. I'm going to save. At least more laserable, I guess I should say. It looked great from the beginning. It's just it wasn't as laserable as we'd like. So the other issue we're running into and then part of the reason we're getting these double cuts is that if I click on this with this node editing tool, the edit paths by nodes, you'll notice that I have sets of nodes on the inside and sets of nodes on the outside. So it's going to cut twice on each of these, which is probably not what she wants. It would probably work out okay because it would still cut out the outer border. But what we could do for each of these is we could go to break apart and then we can actually see both of those paths separately. And then we can delete the inner one because I imagine she just wants the out that outside shape. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fill, add a stroke, except I'm going to make this stroke a little bit smaller so you can actually see kind of the center line. I'm going to change it to inches. And... No, that looks fine. So it's actually going to follow the center line of this. And if I look at the node editing, you'll notice that it's just one line that goes along the center. So if, when we cut this particular area, it's only going to cut once. Whereas if I cut this one, it's still got two. It's going to cut twice. 
So we're getting most of the way there, uh, but I would need to do that for all of these ones all the way around the border, including this outer one. Let's go ahead and break that apart. And I'm going to grab the one on the inside. You see there are two dashed lines, which means I have two selected. So let's grab this one, delete the inner one, and give it the same treatment that we did with that other, other line. Just to be consistent, we're going to use four thousandths of an inch. And we can get rid of the fill. Okay, so just like the other one, this is now going to be just one center line instead of cutting twice. So at the very least, that's going to be saving on cut time. Now the other issue she's running into is she wants to keep this inner circle and doesn't want it to fall out quite the same way. I probably should have left one of those circles in there, so I'm going to add another one. And this is not going to be exactly in the middle, unless I make it be exactly in the middle. Let's do that. We'll go to Object, Align and Distribute. Ta-da! Now it's in the middle. So she had something like this. She wants to cut this area out, but leave this area, which means we need to get rid of some of these lines. So let's do the same thing we did before. Because you'll notice here, we've got an inner line all around here. We've got a couple of other inner lines, and then an outer line. So I think what we'll do, and the easiest way to do this, is to use that same break apart. And this time, let's just delete the outside one which just leaves us with that shape. So that's probably the easiest way to do it. And now let's get rid of the fill and add that same stroke that we were using before. So four thousandths. So now what we'll see is when I zoom in on these, there's only one line. Now there's some weird stuff going on here. We could delete those nodes just to make it a little bit cleaner. You can always do a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to select a couple of nodes and just connect them with a straight line so that it stops jutting out. You can do that for this one too. Let's get rid of that. Connect those with a straight line, which is this button up here. There we go. So we would still want to go around and fix all of these things to be just like this, this first one that we managed. But this is going to end up with roughly what I think is the shape that she's looking for. All right, well, if you have any questions or would like to see other topics covered in a new video, uh, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.